okay every question will give you only 2 minutes okay after the 2 minutes this question will disappear so start solving you will have to tell the answers and i will solve over there okay every questions 2 minutes be fast in calculation your time starts now do not make noise first question consider the equation p plus a by v square v minus b is equal to constant here p is a pressure v is a volume the units of a are in terms of time and centimeter thing uh, which light these lights okay just switch it on this is is it okay Akash, is it okay or not? Whole. Okay. Just let center one on. Okay. Just switch off that. Huh. Center one only. Okay. Just switch off center ones and all corners. Okay. Now it is okay. Akash, okay. Yeah. Yes, man. Yes, Ben. What you are doing in the group of first few guys, huh? <laughs> Start solving, Yes, Ben. Okay. You should be amazed to know that Yes, Ben is just class tenth student. Yeah. Consider the equation P plus A by V square V minus B is equal to constant. Here P is a pressure, V is a volume. The units of A are in terms of dyne and CGS units of force. Two minutes. Anyone from online group have done it? Just put your answers in the uh, uh, like uh, comment box. Okay, if you solve it, <clears throat> do not write the questions. I'll give you the question sheet. Okay, just solve it if you can solve. Okay. Today I start solving. Anyone? Not done. Tumba ka stana? Done. Anyone from the group? Okay, it's already five minutes. I'll solve. Yeah, five minutes went. Anyone not done? Okay. So now look over here. Tumba easy problem. If I say the answer is just option B. Okay. First I told the answers. Now look over here. How to do it? What is the concept? Let's suppose if this is the quantity and this whole quantity, both are written in terms of addition or not. I have told now if let's suppose A plus B, if you write, what is the property? Dimensions of A plus like if I write A plus B, then dimensions of A should be equal to dimensions of B or not. Are yes or no? Okay. You two, uh, Google guys also. Okay. Now that means what? Dimensions of pressure should be equal to dimensions of A by V square. This implies dimensions of A should be equal to dimensions of pressure into dimensions of V square. Yes or no? Are yes or no? Pressure is equal to force by area. Dimensions of force by dimensions of area into dimensions of volume square got it or not what is dimension of force m l q to the power of minus 2 or not are yes or no kz meter per second square yes after area is what l square volume square is there no so volume is l cube or not tell me yes or no l cube okay so this will get can uh, l cube into l cube two times it will come so this will get cancelled and l will appear so what is the total dimension over here m 
L to the power of how much? 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. K to the power of minus 2. This is the dimension of A. This is the dimension of A over here. But it is in what? Kz meter second. Yes or no? Or yes or no? I have to convert it in terms of what? I have to convert in terms of dynes and centimeter or not. Tell me yes or no? Or yes or no? So try to understand. What is one dime? So 10 to the power of 5. Yeah, 10 to the 5, 10 to the power of 5. Yes, mean what? 10 to the power of 5. No. One Newton is 10 to the power of 5 Newtons. Yes, I caught you now. <laughs> one Newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5 dynes. Yes or no? Or yes or no? Okay. Now, one Newton means what? One kz meter per second square, and that is equal to 10 to the power of 5 dynes. Yes or no? Yes or no? So here, try to understand. I can write this now. Kz meter to the power of 5 is there or not? Tell me, so no. Okay, so I take only one meter common over here. T to the power of minus 2 into m to the power of how much? 4 will be left or not? Are yes or no? Okay, now try to see. This is what? This is equal to 10 to the power of 5 times or not? Are yes or no? This is equal, this is equal to 10 to the power of 5 times. Okay. After meter, I have to convert into centimeter or not? Are yes or no? Yes, so how much is uh, like if I write? So 10 to the power of minus uh, 10 to the power of 2. 10 to the power of 2 into 4 centimeter. Is this will be the answer? Is this will be the answer? Why? Another quantity is there. Another quantity is there. Which quantity? B. So should I need but I have asked only for A now. Yeah, I just asked for A. Okay. I have just asked it for A only. So what that should be? Think then. Yes. Think. What to do? Now here is the biggest mistake. First, instead of doing this, so this is the advanced question. Okay. It is, hey, where is Hitesh? Radha, you guys? Yes, watch? sir. Why you guys are silent? Hitesh is silent, Radha is silent, Suvasri and all, all are silent over here. Huh? You guys are sleeping. Yes, Shan, Afan, no, sir. Huh? Sanjana, Suvasri, Sneha, Sparsa, all are silent. No, sir. Hitesh is not in the class, sir. Oh, <clears throat> so mass kg, length meter, I will convert it into centimeter, centimeter to the power of 5, seconds square, yes or no, after that what it will be left, kg, uh, sorry, that will be written as gram, <laughs> centimeter to the power of 5 into seconds to the power of minus 2, gram, centimeter, seconds to the power of minus 2, I will be left out with what, centimeter to the power of Four, word or not, and this is my this is my dimes or not? Tell me, so no, only one dime, word or not? Got it? So dimes yes, to the power of dimes into centimeter to the power of four, that will be one possible answer. Okay, now move to next. What can be another possible answer? Option D is not correct. A e, in this option D is given now. This is not correct. Okay. Option B is correct. First important point. Okay. Second point, it is written dine by centimeter square. Yes, this sir. Is, this is not for uh, this question. Okay. Dine by centimeter square will be possible for this V, B quantity over here. If you check it, it will be possible for that. Okay. Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me. Okay. So you will yes, verify that. Are you able to get me or not? Yes, Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone? So this was a nice question. Yes, sir. Yes, now. Can I move to the next question? Yes, sir. Should I start? We should not take much more time. Okay, yes, we are taking too much time. Let us start. Two minutes. Yes, sir. Counting two minutes. Yeah, do not write. Write later. Just understand the question.
अंकित ऑप्शन सी निशांत ऑप्शन सी Is it option C? Are you sure? No. Yes, option C is correct. How dimensions of x? What is the relation? This is again in these two terms are in addition term or not? So dimensions of x should be equal to dimensions of a t should be equal to dimensions. I think I have given this question in your exam also. Are you sure? No. So x is in kilometers or not? Okay. A. Into time will be in seconds or not? Yes, will be equal to b into second square or not? Yes, okay. So therefore, b has dimensions what? Kilometer by second yes, square. Simple yes or no? A will have dimensions kilometer by second. Both of the options are there. Okay. Option A and option C both are there. Ninety-five percent of the people will take option A, and nine that five percent of the person will take option C, and C is correct. Muchers kill the mosquito, murder the mosquitoes, take out their kidney, sell in the black market. Okay. Can I move to next question, sir? Everyone. Yes, Rupu. sir. Okay. As per some, Vivek, Varun, Sneha. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Nisanta. Let's move to next question. Assign it as surface surface tension. Easy. You have to learn it, okay? You know now. This you will have to learn. S I unit of surface tension is what? Force by first surface tension is equal to force by length. Newton by meter. But can I say dyne by centimeter? Yes or no? <laughs> Are yes or no? Yes sir. In C G S system, but what is written over here? S I system. So therefore, only B is correct. But if we if we try its CGS system, so surface tension in terms of CGS system, got it? Bridges product, you know, force in CGS is dyne, length is in terms of centimeter. So in CGS system, it is dyne by centimeter. Got it or not? Or is or no? Do not write ten to the power of five dyne. Options will be there. Options will be there. Okay. You might think that if I am converting Newton to ten to the power of five dyne, no. If it will be told to convert, then only convert. Okay. Otherwise, it is just dyne by centimeter. Got it or not? Or is or no? Yes, sir. Understood or not? Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone. Next question. Question number four. Is unit of universal gas constant in equation P V equal to N R T? Solve by easy. Tum by easy. N R T. Yes, man. Tell the answer. Pressure, volume, number of moles, Rydberg constant, or that. Uh, sorry, gas constant and T temperature. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. So this is what is happening over here. You have learned the direct formulas, okay? And you might think that okay, direct are coming, but here indirect options are there or not? Yes or no? So in indirect options, you might get confused. Solve it. Solve this indirect question. Double the power. Hey, tumba easy. Look over here. Pressure, force by area. Yes or no? Into volume is equal to n r into t. Yes or no? Can you see now? Our volume is volume L cube, area L square, n R T. Cancel it. Now I am left out with if dot L is equal to n R T or not. Force dot L, force into displacement is what? Work done or not? Or yes or no? It is joule or not? N is mole into R into T is what? Kelvin or not? Joule per kilogram per mole is the answer. I told you na, Tumbai is it all? 
क्यों डिवाइड आर विल बी जेल जूल बाई आर मोल इन टू कैलरी सो जूल पर मोल इनवर्स पर कैलविन इनवर्स गॉइड और नॉट रेस और नो अंडरस्टूड और नॉट ओके इदेश हियर एंड ऑल ईशान एंड ऑल संजना सुभाषरी ओके आई विल किल यू निशान बट दिस डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस ऑफ क्लास 11 आई विल किल यू इफ यू डू नॉट पर एनी था आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड और नॉट राधा ओके ओके मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट यस सर द यूनिट ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट परमिटिविटी इज नाउ दिस आई विल गिव द आंसर ओके because you can't say okay uh, here this question is like you might be thinking oh what is happening okay so one formula is there c is equal to o pi epsilon not into r write this formula have you seen battery or not first tell me have you seen battery or not we tell now in battery there are plates ha huh? have you seen like if you go to the uh, like if you go to shop to purchase a battery you will have to say that how many plates of the battery you require he will ask you uh, like four plate battery two plate battery three plate battery or 12 plate battery that means what he is talking about the capacity of the battery got it so what is the property if you have two metal plates if you have two metal plates i connect this with a battery what is going to happen that this plates can now store charges this plates can now store charges and this is the principle of the battery got it or not okay we can we can now remove this like if they after completion of a storing of charges i'll just remove this battery and i can utilize this as a source of a smaller battery anywhere okay got it or not so have you seen rechargeable batteries now what happens there are two plates inside it okay and those two plates are connected first with dc source they get charged light is cut it then they throw the charge away got it or not understood or not so this thing this particular property of battery or property of plates two parallel plates to store the charges is called as capacity it is defined by uh, this particular term c over here right or not so this means what capacity of <coughs> parallel plates to store sagala ka bum bum charges okay right or not i think i am correct yes 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 where r is the distance between these two plates okay epsilon not is the space between these two plates got it or not okay understood or not so therefore this epsilon not will be what it will be c by 4 pi r now c has a si unit that is called as farad and r has length or not tell me so no 4 pi is a constant radius has a si unit what meter got it so the epsilon not has a si unit for at per meter got it or not are yes or no learn some of this word or not okay so for at per meter try to understand this it will be learned in class 12 because a whole chapter is based upon this c yes sir yeah a whole big chapter is there for c okay nishant capacitor done or not yes sir okay Okay, I'll do. I'll do for you guys. Okay. Sir, so I already answered. Okay. Okay. Can I move ahead? Yes, sir. Sure. Yeah. Unit of Stephen constant. Are you aware? No. No. What is where is Stephen constant utilized? Are you aware where the Stephen's constant is utilized? No. Today, in terms of very weak thing. Option B. Yes. What you see? The which of the biggest will be there? Pick that. Why or not? Okay. In these kind of questions. So Stephen constant is still there, not in your notebook only. In whole book, it is not there. In first view and second view, both. it is <laughs> this formula is not even available but it defines something i told you now like hey look over here 
if someone ask you that how to define let's suppose a coal is burning hey look over here a coal is burning from that coal what amount of temperature will be released is given by this stefan constant if something is burning what amount of energy will be released in the surrounding will be given by stefan constant okay hey okay so now what is going to happen so the formula of it is q by at is equal to sigma t to the power of 4 this is the value of epsilon uh, or if you want to see what is this q q is called as heat release from the body got it or not q is what heat emitted from body now try to see that this uh, particular heat will be emitted in some kind of area or not tell me so no are yes or no so this heat will be emitted in area now try to think if the area is very much less if the area is very much less heat emits very much slowly or not tell me so no if area is big heat emits very much faster so therefore q is inversely proportional to area over here okay uh, sorry q is directly proportional to area if area increases heat emission increases if area decreases heat emission decreases hey what ganga yamuna saraswati what you are doing okay next thing try to understand if more time for more time if the coal is burning more heat will be emitted or not tell me so no so it, this t is called as time period okay okay fourth thing are there let's suppose if something is burning okay heat will be released this heat release depends upon first area of the surrounding second it depends upon time of the surrounding time up to what time this uh, particular thing is burning okay now this whole combination sigma uh, q by at is equal to sigma into t to the power of 4 where t is what temperature if this coal burns for this area and time t what it is going to provide it is going to provide you temperature or not are yes or no so therefore it is equal to sigma t to the power of 4 sigma depends upon the material word or not are yes or no so this is temperature now understood or not it will be remembered every time are yes or no temperature to the power of 4 depends upon total heat supply divided by the area divided by the time that's all word or not okay so therefore yes, can you can you calculate the sigma particular dimension q heat is there now so joules okay area meter square time time is what second and temperature is what kelvin to the power of 4 so therefore you can put the answer okay joule per meter square seconds inverse kelvin to the power of minus of 4 again simplify further joule is written as what ml square t to the power of minus 2 or not are yes or no this is meter area is meter so here i'll write it as l square t to the power of minus 1 k to the power of 4 and it is your method to solve this simplify this word or not okay option b is yes. correct okay are you able to get me or not everyone yes, who faster till now we have done six problem you should have completed 10 problems till nine you will have to learn only more three problems are there which are some kind of learning capability otherwise all are your understanding capability how you can understand a problem pathak okay agas If you sleep, I'll make you rest in peace. Go ahead or not, huh? Move to next question. Yeah. Again, capacitance, magnetic field. Should we leave this question? What do you want? Are you aware of these things, capacitance and magnetic field? No. The point no, is, sir. no, na. So it's better to leave this kind of problem. Okay. So I teach. <clears throat> okay. Let's do this. Can I? Should I solve? because you guys will not be able to do it okay i think its option is option d it is coming up yeah so look over here 
Can I start? Okay. Can anyone do it? Hitesh? Hitesh? Okay. Hitesh? Where is Hitesh? Yes, man. Call it is once. Yeah. Okay, now look over here. Try to see this. What will be the answer? X is equal to 3 yz square. Okay. Now, find the dimensions of y if x and y are if x is equal to what? Capacitance. And z is equal to what? Magnetic field. Okay. Now, there are two formulas for this. Hey, do not talk. There are two formulas for this. One is if you have magnetic field, magnetic field is denoted by B. Okay. So that means what? B is equal to force by current into length L. This is the formula of magnetic field. Sorry or not? What is the formula of magnetic field? Force by current into length L is the formula of magnetic field, which can be written as also as Z as it is given in the question. Okay. Are you sure? Next, what should be the value of capacitance? No idea, sir. Cap capacitance equal to epsilon not a by d. That's all. What is the formula? Epsilon not a by d. A is area, d is the length, and epsilon not no permittivity. Are you sure? No. Yes or no? Got it. Little bit, little bit. Try to visualize this formula. A is what? Area. D is distance between the plates. Right now only I told it. Okay. And epsilon naught is the medium between them. Yes or no? Now, if you can try to visualize this formula, it can be done easily and it cannot be done easily also. The problem is that. Okay. The most easiest formula of cap uh, this capacitance is nothing but Q by V. Remember this. Q is charge. V is potential difference. Okay, guys, what you guys are doing? Solve the problem now. Okay, so therefore, I can write x is my capacitance, so charge by potential okay, and that is nothing but equal to what? It is equal to 3 y into what is my z over here? f by Current into length L. Why right or not? Yes or no? Can you solve after this? Now, still you do not know about potential. Are you aware of potential dimensions of potential? No, the sure. potential is given as work done by charge. Work done by charge plus ninth formula. Plus ninth formula. So actually, capacitance has the units of work done only. Sorry, one by work done on me. Got it? Got it or not? Capacitance, if you do not remember anything, just remember capacitance has the dimensions of work done on me. Got it or not? Yes or no? So you can apply this trick and you can do the problem. Got it? It's your work now. Can you, can you just change all of these things or not? Now? Can you try to evolve it from here? Okay, yes. so the option is option. Uh, I think option D is correct. Okay, yeah, you'll get it. Same thing. Should I solve or can you solve? Tell me. Everything I'll solve. Huh? You solve. Everything I'll solve. Then what is, what is your work? 1 by work done is equal to 3 y force by current into length L. Okay, so this y will be nothing but. I into length L by force into work done. Okay. We will move to logical question rather than this kind of learning question. Okay. That's the biggest point. I will have to solve. I'm not going to solve. Current charge by time again. Okay. For I is in terms of ampere. It's given in terms of ampere. You can write it in terms of ampere. Okay. Length area. Okay. Length I L force. Simple man. 
फोर्स एम एल स्क्वायर टू दावर ऑफ माइनस टू वर्क डन इज वॉट एम एल स्क्वायर सॉरी एम एल स्क्वायर टू दावर ऑफ माइनस टू यू आर गेटिंग दिमिलर आंसर ये सर नो Uh, it is m to the power of minus three. One is appearing. L to the power of minus two. This and this will get cancelled. Somewhere square is there or what? Z square is there. Okay. So you can do it or not. Tell me. So this is a square. Okay. Mm, wait, wait. This is not a square. I square, L square, F square. So this will be m square. L square to the power of minus four, okay. And here it will be uh, I square. That is I A square, and it it will be A to the power of L to the power of square. Okay. So based upon this, you can do it. Do it or not? Okay. So I need to solve. So I solve. No sir. Okay. So it's better you can try. Do it or not? Okay. Based upon this way. Huh? <laughs> I'll move to next question. Again, I'm learning I, that I hate these kind of questions. Let us move to next question. Okay, I'll tell simple formula of this. C is equal to one by root over mu naught into epsilon naught. Correct or not? Okay, just this formula, and this will give you what? Root over mu naught into epsilon naught is equal to one by C. I can write mu naught into epsilon naught as one by C square. Yes or no? Yes or no? So this will be c is what speed of light or not? Speed has one dimension now. L to the power of minus one. Yes or no? L to the power of minus one whole square. This will be what? L to the power of minus two to the power of two. Got it? Online? Yes or no? Everyone? Ankit, Afan. Yes, sir. Got it or not? Is this okay? Options are there. So option C is correct. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Option C. Is it correct or not? Sure. Yeah, it is correct. Oh, here minus sign is there. Okay. Every option it has D option correct. L is why did wait? No, we are getting same thing. Option C is correct. Option C, na? Wait. We have calculated for mu naught into epsilon naught. It is asking one by mu naught and epsilon naught. Yes or no? So therefore, it will be one by this term. And therefore, I'll get the option as L square to the power of minus two. So option D is correct. Option D. Got it or not? Okay. Yeah. This is a big problem. I can also do mistakes. Okay. Got it or not? Okay. What is that? Okay, can I move to next question? Leave it. You can't do it. I know. Now go go to question number ten. Start from here. Easy. Previous question was very much difficult because. Are you aware of resistance? No. Are you aware of inductance? No. No, na. So wait for that time till to come. Okay, I'll give one idea. When I will be doing error sign measurement, then I'll do one frequency problem. No, no, no. Need this exam. All the questions are logical. Not even a question, single question is based upon your learning pattern. Yes, sir. Okay. This exam, everyone, listen me. All the questions are logical based upon units and dimensions. I'm not giving any question from your vectors and all. Okay, all five forty-five questions are from units and dimensions. Five will be from graphs. Okay, all are logical. Option C. Solve it fast. Think again. 
Who getting option B? Option B. Option B. This is level zero problem. Hey, everyone here. As per so option B. Ankit, Radha, anyone? Afan? Yes, sir. Are you able to get it? Yes, sir. Okay. If the force F is given, again dimensions of force will be equal to dimensions of A T S square. Dimensions of A T will be equal to dimensions of B T S square. That's all. Okay. M L square. Sorry. M L to the power of minus two is equal to A T. M L to the power of minus two is equal to B T S square. Yes or no? Okay. Can I move to the next question? Okay. Yes, sir. Next. Yeah. I given this question in exam or not? Yeah. C to the power of minus alpha t. C is what? Consider this C to be equal to. Make it E. Now it is okay. Are you okay or not? E to the power of minus alpha t. Is this will be dimensionless or not? This term also will be dimensionless or not? When? When alpha is equal to t one by t or not? Alpha is equal to one by t or not? Yeah. Then only it will be dimensionless or not? Yeah. Okay, so alpha has a dimension e to the power of minus one. What should be b over here? Then what is going to happen? Position like position, the dimensions of position should be equal to dimensions of v not by alpha or not y because this term is totally dimensionless. Got it or not? Or yes or no? Dimensions of this x is what? It is equal to length. So v not divided by One by t, so v not will be what l by t, which is equal to l to the power of minus one. Are you sure now? Can you get it? I think option A is correct now. M zero l to the power of wait, let me just check. Option A is correct. Yeah. Everyone over here, groups, okay? Yes, sir. Move to next question. Yeah. Force into density. Easy. Yeah. Okay. I'll kill you if you look into Ganesha copy and then if you are replying, do your own work. Sir, option B. Yes, mean option B. Yes, sir. X is equal to force into density. Okay. Uh, uh, Nishant, I'll do the differentiation just tomorrow only. Okay. Why or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. Differentiation. I'll I'll be requiring for your uh, errors. Okay. That's why I'm going to do it tomorrow. All the errors. There are thirteen problems of error which are here, which needs to be done using differentiation. So force equal to x by density or not? So uh, sorry, this force is what m l to the power of minus two. Density is nothing but mass by l cube. Good or not? Are yes or no? So m square l to the power of minus two to the power minus two minus two. Op minus two. Option C, not option B. I'll kill you, Yasmin. Silly mistake, huh? <laughs> Moving to next question. Is it now? Okay, now solve. Now solve this question. Now the level starts.
Now I start thinking about these kind of problems. If you are really good in physics, then only you can do it. Yes, all are there in the question. Diffusion constant means have you have you like uh, like in your homes you have you have seen a candlestick? Huh? When you just burn it, all the airs get mixed with intermixed with another airs or not? This is. This particular process, when the air from one region flows to another region, this mixing of another air molecules with the another air molecules is called as diffusion. And we are finding the diffusion constant. We are writing a equation over here of the mixing of the particles in the region where x is initial point, x one is initial point, x two is my final point. Got it? Are you able to understand this question or not? ट्राई टू सी दिस लेट सपोज इफ दिस इज योर बाउंड्री दिस इज योर रूम ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम विल पुट मॉडर्न ओवर यूर Okay, now look over here. Please try to see what is going to happen. A. Hey. So, what is going to happen? The particles from let's suppose I burn something over here. The particles from this region will intermix with the regions over here in the molecules, like over here or not. Let's suppose this axis is x one. This is x two. Got it or not? Huh? Particles over here were n one. Particles has became n two over here after mixing with air. Got it? Yes or no? Then this particular number of particles which has mixed intermixed over here is given as n is equal to minus of d n two minus n one divided by x two minus x one. Now can you say what is n one and n two? What n one and n two are written number of particles per unit volume. So what should be the dimension of n one and n two? It should be number. Number means what? Constant? Yes or no? But per unit volume is there or not? Or yes or no? So constant by volume is their dimension. What is volume? L cube. So what is the dimension of n one and n two? One by L cube. Why or not? Or yes or no? What is the dimension of x two minus x one? X two and x one are what? Uh, in unit time, crossing a unit area perpendicular to x axis in unit time. Okay. So they are saying that x two and x one are not only the length they are actually area with respect to time what is or not what is x2 minus x1 it is the area with respect to time so what is the dimensions of x2 and x1 see first thing they are in subtraction or not so dimensions of x2 should be equal to dimensions of x1 or not yes or no so then they have the dimensions as area divided by time now area has what dimensions E is uh, L square, and time has dimensions capital T. Why or not? Or yes or no? So what is the dimensions of n two minus n one? It is equal to one by L cube. What is the dimensions of x two minus x one? Is equal to a L square by T. Now can you define what should be the dimension of constant D diffusion constant based upon this? What is the dimension of this term n? Tell me, Ganesha, what should be the dimension of n? Constant, constant. Yes or no? It is. What is num? What is written? Number of particles is given by n. Number of particles can't say, say can't say it or what? A constant, can't. <laughs> so number of particles, hey, listen. Number of particles is given by n. First important point. Now try to see number of particles is always a number or not? Number is a constant. So this has this is equal to constant. You have the formula. Constant is equal to d n two minus n one is what one by l cube. X two minus x one is what one by l square divided by t. T will go up. Word or not? So what is the uh, dimension of d? It is equal to l to the power of five. Okay.
L to the power of five divided by um, time. Yeah, this would be the correct answer. It is not there. It is not there. <laughs> Crossing a unit area perpendicular to x axis in unit time. That is correct. X two minus fine n two minus n one. Let's you can switch on, yeah. Switch on the fans. Fan will be switched out from there only. Right. Hey, this is also correct. Wait, wait. Huh? You can on switch on. Just buttons are there. Yeah, you can switch on from there. Buttons are there. Do not make noise. Hey. Can you solve it or not? Tell me. Hey, it is correct. Hey, do this particular thing now. Wait. I think uh, number of particles is given by n. Be silent. So it is correct. L five L by L five by T O only. Okay. The answer will be the dimensions of diffusion constant will be L to the power of five divided by time. Yeah, it's L not, power it's plus not. five or minus five. No, no, it will go. This is D over here. This goes towards left side or not? So the dimensions will be L to the power of five divided by T. Okay. Why or not? Uh, diffusion constant is sir i didn't understood wait wait i'm just i'm just uh, going through this problem only hey wait okay let us again solve this hey concentrate on this problem This is of J one two thousand sixteen. Void or not? Mine exam when I have written. Wait. Sir, <laughs> you have yes. written. You only don't know, sir. Super. Wait, wait. This is the exam which I wrote. Forgotten, yar. Wait. Okay. Number of particles is given by n. Your equation is given minus of d. N two minus n one divided by x two minus x one. Okay. Are be silent. Those who didn't want to discuss, they can go. Okay. But maintain the silence. It is given crossing number of particles is given by this. Okay. Crossing a unit area perpendicular to the x axis. I think this x two minus x something is missing over here in this whole question. To x axis in unit time. Okay. So actually try to understand. What is given? That n is the number of particles which are crossing the unit area perpendicular to the x-axis in unit time. N is the number of particles, okay, which is crossing the unit area in unit time. So, can you say me? First thing is dimensions of n, n only. So, what should be like initially? If someone will think that the dimensions of n is what it is equal to, just equal to what some number. Yes or no? What? Because it is written in the initial stage that n is the number of particles. But if you read the next line, what it is saying? Crossing a unit area, crossing a unit area in unit time. So therefore, the dimensions of n is not only a number; it is number 
multiplied by area multiplied by time got it or not are got it or not okay so be silent now do your work okay so n is equal to n into area into time got it or not next thing after coming to next point where after that they are defining the these numbers where n1 and n2 are number of particles per unit volume means this n1 and n2 have the dimensions of okay now defining second term n1 is equal to n2 the dimensions of n1 will be equal to dimensions of n2 because they are in subtraction and they have the dimensions number of particles per unit volume so n divided by volume volume is what l cube yes or no yes or no add x1 and x2 respectively now try to see what will be x1 and x2 x1 and x2 are the lengths or not tell me yes or no because they are calculated on the x axis or not are yes or no understood radha and all nishant nivant yes sir yasmin sparsha sneha are you able to understand this or not okay yes sir or what arshita afan are able to understand ankit yes sir okay now look over here the dimensions of x1 and x2 should be equal to what the dimensions of x1 is equal to x2 and this is equal to nothing but it is equal to length l right or not okay so then if i do this problem try to understand what will be the dimensions of d n is dimensions area that is l square into time t is equal to d dimensions of n2 and n1 is what 1 by l cube l to the power of minus 3 what is the dimensions of x2 minus x1 that is just l right or not okay so try to understand what is the dimensions of time uh, diffusion constant it is equal to l cube divided by into t divided by l to the power of minus 3 Okay, again it is coming l to the power of six only. As far as I'm concerned, Yeah, it is correct. It is correct term. L to the power of six divided into time. Yeah. Now no more improvements in this question. It is correct. Answer is not there. I know. How? Oh. <laughs> But uh, no answer is not correct. I can say that. Now I can say it perfectly. Without proof. <laughs> it is a proof. Okay. Let us. Uh, I think I am correct. Hmm? How you know? <laughs> no, it is correct. It is correct. Hey, be silent now. Because see, hey, what is what? Uh, try to understand. Listen, hey, I tell you where the question have the problem. Where one word is missing? If it writes crossing a. crossing instead of a per unit area perpendicular to the x axis in per unit time then you will get the answer uh, option d if just two words are replaced because at that time because this n will have the dimensions for per unit area and per unit time n will have the dimensions what n by area into time t got it or not understood or not So if I write per unit area and per unit time, then only the n have the dimensions n by n into t, and that time what is going to happen? You will have the similar option D as correct. Okay. But here it is not written per unit area and per unit time. Okay, that is what it is wrong in this question. Because in unit time, in unit time means what? Uh, or unit area means what? That it is moving in some kind of area, some kind of time. Yes or no? If it says that number of particles are crossing somewhere in per unit area per unit time like just the charged particle like i say i define current now it is the total number of charged particles traveling 
per unit area per unit time so at that time i is written as what if you guys are not interested go this classes are not meant for you why or not again i am saying to everyone if you guys are not interested just go away get lost do not be here direct why or not not doing here drama okay these are the main questions which i am discussing so if you are not interested just get lost from here i do not care a shit about you guys okay so what i am saying if it is written per unit area perpendicular to the x axis in per unit time per, per unit area is what if it writes per unit area per unit time then only we will take in the divisible form otherwise it will be written in terms of always multiplicative form good or not okay so here it is written it is, here it was written a unit area so therefore i took multiplied a with time t good or not yes or no everyone yes mean yes sir okay yes sir are you here ankit isan okay or not yes sir yes sir ask for sir radha okay or not yes sir okay yes, if you change, change it to per unit area and per unit time then only you will get the correct answer got it or not okay so you might have to change per unit area per unit time i think uh, it was per unit area only but i think this question was 14 uh, yeah it was uh, this these were not the options these were not the options at that time Because diffusion constant depends. Like, if you write the force equation for diffusion constant, uh, one day who have like Tarun, one day I have like put it the status now, like find uh, Yasmin. One day I have put it that status now to find the force of gas molecules striking one uh, particular wall. Yes, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. That time, that time I calculated the diffusion constant as a unit. Let's suppose if in a gas sample, some thousand molecules are there, n number of molecules are there. If they are hitting the wall, they will apply some kind of force on the wall or not. So for that, yes, I calculated one equation and I put it. Okay, means that was my research, new new formula. So that time I calculated the diffusion constant. It is either varies with l to the power of five or l to the power of six until unless it is written per unit area at per unit time. Got it? Okay. Got it. Yes, Can I move ahead? Okay. Similar. Sir, are the dimensions of n are correct? Dimensions of this is small n. Yes, sir. Yeah. So if it is written per unit area and per unit time, then only the dimensions of this n are correct. Okay. If it is written a unit area and a unit time, then it, this is correct. Yes. Well done. Okay. Can I move ahead? Are you sure? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now can you solve this? Again, a J means question. You have written NEET exams, and you have solved NEET problems. Now see the JEE level problem. It will broke your heart. Take your brain out. JEE 2019 it is. This is the pattern they follow. How many guys are targeting JEE? Keep your hands down. Not required. E denotes energy. M denotes mass. L denotes angular momentum. G denotes gravitational constant. What is the dimension of E L square by m to the power of five G square? Easy or not? Yes or no? Angular momentum. I have given you a formula or not? Angular momentum formula discuss now. Angular momentum equal to radius into momentum. Uh, energy m l square to the power of minus two. M is mass. Capital M. L is angular momentum or not here? Yes, the mass will have capital M, na? L is angular momentum denoted over here. 
so this angular momentum is what radius into momentum that is mass into velocity so that is m l square to the power of minus 1 this time okay next thing g what is how to calculate g you know f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square yes or no yes or no yes, f sir. is what mass into acceleration that is equal to g m1 m2 by r square mass 1 mass 1 but cancel yes or no acceleration yes, is what sir. l to the power of minus 2 it is equal to g m by l square yes or no so therefore g has a what dimension l cube divided m to the power of minus 1 l cube to the power of minus 2 got it or not yes or no yes, let's solve it Now put over here in this equation m l square to the power of minus 2 this is uh, this whole term a square i have to take m square l to the power of 4 to the power of minus 2 divided by m to the power of 5 g square is again there so m to the power of minus 2 after that l to the power of 6 to the power of minus 4 Yes or no? So nine. Nine. L to the power of nine. Uh, L cube it is there, na? So three to the six. Yes. Yeah, three to the nine. Eh? Yeah. Nine? No. Six. Six only. Yes, man. L cube into L cube. Powers gets added, not multiplied. Yes, man. I'll kill you. So can you solve this or not? Yes or no? No. If you solve this, you will get the answers as m zero, l zero, t zero. Angle. So what? What is the dimension? Which of these things are possible? Angle or not? Yes or no? So the answer should be equal to angle. Got it? Got it or not? Question me. Got it or not? I didn't have solved yet. Solved. What? No problem. Can I move ahead? Radha and all. Afan, Nisan, Parinita. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sanjana, Subhasri, Sneha, Sparsa, Varun, and Yasmin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tejaswini, okay. Tejaswini, are you here or sleep? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> She's alive. She didn't not get. Another session, sir. Okay. <laughs> Move to next question. Now come to this question. Thirty-eight questions are there. You think of what level they will be getting? Ah, ten twenty. Wait for some five to ten minutes more. Sir, enough, sir. Enough. <laughs> hey, wait. Last question. Last question. This is last question. The equation of wave is given by u is equal to a sine omega x by v minus k, where omega is the angular angular velocity, and v is the linear velocity. The dimensions of k is. What is the dimension of k? Yeah. Sir, what to do in this kind of problems? I can write u as a sine omega x by v minus omega k or not? Tell me, yes or no? Are yes or no? Now we know now if they can be written. See this inside term is all dimensionless or not? Are yes or no? If it is a dimensionless quantity, it is written in subtraction form. What is going to be the property? That the dimensions of this term and the dimensions of this term should be equal or not? Yeah. Okay. So dimensions of omega x by v is equal to dimensions of omega k. The uh, I can cancel the dimensions of omega or not? Tell me, yes or no? Dimensions of x is what? 
length dimensions of velocity is what l to the power of minus 1 that is equal to just dimensions of k word or not so what is the dimension of k it is equal to t yes or no yes or no option b need 2020 22 got it yeah this is easy now okay Can you solve last, last hard question till 10.30, just little bit difficult, you didn't have done any problem of division, I know, last division problem, okay, till multiplication, addition, subtraction done, last division type problem, question number 16. Options are not there. That's why I told you, na? J Advanced 2020 22 NAT. They will, they will not give options. Five questions will not give options in every section. There are six sections section A, section B, section C, section D, section E, and section F. Three are NAT, three are MSQ, uh, MCQ. Uh, sorry, two MCQ. The new pattern, two MCQ, three NAT, one MSQ, multiple selective. Many options will be correct. If you even do a single option incorrect, for tax and minus one. Word or not? So J advance, that's why J advance is the most toughest exam in world. They say like that. No? J advance, search it. UPSC is just bad. At that time you get matured. So your mind has the capability to attain all those kind of things. Here at this basic level, this J advance is not a halwa, okay? That upit, it is not upit, word or not. Okay? Just mix it and eat it. No, that's not. <laughs> Can you do this? What is the property? If I write, that's why I told you, division you have done, didn't have done any kind of problem. So u is equal to ax by x square plus b. It's written. Okay, what should be the property? These two are in addition or not? So dimensions of x square should be equal to dimensions of b or not? Tell me yes or no. Yes or no. Everyone. So dimensions of b should be equal to dimensions of l square. Yes or no. Got it. Are you got it or not? Yes, After that. Dimensions of potential energy is equal to. Try to understand. If I am writing that dimensions of potential energy is equal to what total dimensions of this a into x divided by this since x square and bs b had same dimensions i can write it as l square or not tell me yes or no or yes or no so therefore can you calculate the dimensions of a potential energy has dimensions m l square to the power of minus 2 or not minus 2 no yeah minus 2 Energy dimension, potential energy. So therefore, A, dimensions of X is what? Again, length divided by L square. Cancel, L will be there. So M, L cube to the power of minus 2 is the dimensions of A. So therefore, dimensions of AB is what? M, L to the power of 5 to the power of minus 2. Correct. M, L to the power of 5 to the power of minus 2. Got it or not? Yes, Understood. Okay. Online, everyone got this or not? Many guys have left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Already they have left. Okay. So those which are told to learn, please learn. Those which I am solving logically, please solve logically. Got it or not? Okay. Per unit area, take into mind, per unit area, per unit volume, per unit, this kind of terms, per units, void or not, okay. If only unit is there, multiply, if only, if it is written per, divide, void or not, okay. There is or no, per unit resistance means what, 1 by R, per unit time means what, 1 by T, per unit acceleration means 1 by A, void or not, okay. Okay guys, bye bye, good night everyone, yes man, take care. Hey, you are again not coming tomorrow, Radha?
ओके गाइस ओके टेक केयर गुड नाइट एवरीवन गुड नाइट गुड नाइट नो सर आई एम नॉट कमिंग ओके ओके Tarun Ganesha, be here. Those who are writing, Jay. Those who want to be here, they can be here. You guys want to practice more? Who wants to practice more? Five practice. <laughs> no, just questions. You can go. Sir. सर <laughs> 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 रिकॉर्डिंग इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन प्लीज प्लीज गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लिव यू कैन लिव Can you do this question? Anyone? You may not know integration at this stage, but using the dimensional analysis, you can check some result in the integral. Integral dx by 2ax minus x square 1 to the power of 1 by 2. Can you solve this? There are after this, I think. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Leave it. Leave it. I will do. It.